Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday's Thought for the Day. In Ephesians 1, Paul has been praying that his readers would know the hope to which God has called them, that they will remember that they are God's much prized possession, indeed, his inheritance. But how do you and I know that we're going to keep going as believers? Sometimes we can feel so weak, so vulnerable, which leads on to the final point that Paul prays for his readers, that they would know that God's power is there for them to keep going right to the end. So in verse 19, Paul is praying that his readers might know God's incomparably great power for us who believe. It is God's power that enables you and I to keep living for Jesus, even when life feels just so tough. In verses 20 to 21, Paul describes his power. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. Let me ask you, do you ever feel weak in your Christian life? Perhaps sin or your failures are getting you down. Or perhaps you're shattered by some bitter disappointment. Sometimes we may think that everyone else is strong and we are the only weak ones. And yet the truth is, we all struggle, albeit in different ways. And we all need God's help and God's power. And if you want to know how much power God has given you, look to the resurrection of Jesus. God's power brought him to life. And then raised him to heaven. And by his ascension and seating at God's right hand, Christ has shown that he is supreme, supreme over every power in the universe, including the powers of evil. And amazingly, that is a power that is at work in you. I hope that's encouraging, but it is easy to forget. So we need to pray for ourselves, to pray for others, that they will know God's power at work in their lives and to be confident of that. Perhaps we can pray that that for those who are weary, struggling or despairing, that they will know God's power for us who believe. Christ has conquered evil. He's conquered death. And therefore, we can be confident that he will rescue us from both. God's great power will ensure that his people get to enjoy the hope of their calling. God is going to keep us going today, tomorrow and into eternity. So let's pray for one another, that we will realise this for ourselves. And let's pray that none of us give in to despair and lose heart. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to know your power at work in our lives, that we may be confident that you will keep us going to the end. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Friday.